always wondered when I thought about it, why haven't Land Rover done this? Why isn't this an optional extra that they sell? The men will be off-road vehicles, and when you're off-road, you're always pumping tires up. You know, if you get stuck, you let your tires down to dig yourself out, pump them back up again. Right, welcome back to the channel in a new video. Today you find me in the boot of my car, trying to do a bit of experimenting. I had an idea the other week, I got a flat tyre on this and I didn't have a pump with me. And it dawned on me that I have an onboard compressor. So my plan is, I'm gonna try and tap in to this airline hose and see if I can join it up somehow and use this to pump my tyres up. So if I'm ever stuck again, all I need to carry is my airline hose and I can tap into this and pump my tyres up. But that's my plan. Whether it works or not, I don't know. We'll soon find out. But, right, so my plan is, what I'm going to do is you have a, a pressure release valve down here. You have a T and a pressure release valve. My plan is to take off that pressure release valve and swap it with a bog standard airline fixing. And then I'll be able to tap into it there without doing any damage and hook up an airline to it and use that to blow up my tyres. <clears throat> Something I do use quite often, when I didn't have a diagnostics tool, what I use to check my compressor is air, to, to make sure my compressor was blowing the right air, what I did is I took one of these off my air compressor, a bog standard air compressor, which has just got a gauge and a fixing, and I screwed that into that T-off point there, and I ran my car and put it into full height mode, which activates the compressor and I watch the readings on here. So if you haven't got a tool like I have now where you can plug in and check what she's doing, just a little, little neat idea that you can just unplug that there and put one of these in and then you've got your reading there so you can see what's happening. Right, let's make a start anyway. Baby, you give me ice and fire. You're giving me wind and rain. And now, because that's perfectly like to there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another airline thing on that. So basically, when it's not in use, what I can do is just plug that back in there, and then she's back to how she should be. But if I do need to, what I can do then is just unplug that, plug in an airline to it, and away she goes. That's my little plan. Net that up like that. What I'm also going to do is tighten that up as well. I might need a bigger spanner for this. I believe I do. That's what I can do now is put my airline on there. Tighten that up. And if you don't know what this is, this is your pressure release valve. So if you ever have any issues, this thing should open up. And obviously it opens up at a certain pressure, so it stops it from overloading. If you have air suspension problems, it's one thing worth checking, making sure it's not stuck open. Or if you are struggling, what you can do is you can get to that relay over there, that one there, and you can jump that relay, and that will make this compressor switch on. So my plan now is fairly straightforward. If I unplug that relay, get a piece of wire, and jump that across, it should start this compressor. I will make this a bit more permanent, but for trial and error, it's grown off. And I haven't got my wire connections with me in my unit, so I can't do anything about that. So what I'm gonna do is jump that relay that I've unplugged, and it's the top and the bottom. So you can see in there, there's one up the top and there's one at the bottom. I ideally need a spade for that, but I haven't got one. So if I 
push that in there. And then all I need to do is go in there. And as you can hear, that's my compressor going. But what I want to do is just double check it's not leaking. And there she is, a nice little pop. So now, what I want to do is get my hair right. So now what I can do is plug into that with my airline, like that, and in theory, this should work. Push that in there, and then... So it makes a handy little to blow any gear out. That's it tap in now. I need a new one of these. It's no good this, this is just a cheap one. So it's letting the air go by, but it works. Proves the point. Everything's working as I thought it would. Quite simple as well, actually. Now that's back on there. Put me relay back in. Keep my piece of copper wire handy just in case I need that. Put that in here in the spare bulbs. This is all set up now. It only took me like five minutes. So basically, all I'm doing is just jumping out the piece of wire on that relay to make my compressor come on. So, in theory, I could probably make a better piece of wire that with a switch on it or something. But the relay's got to go back in anyway for the air suspension. Boy, it proves the point. This is now adaptable. I can just unplug that, plug in an airline, and there she is. Ready to go. If I get myself a new one of them. And there you go. So if I'm ever in trouble again now, all I need to do, because I always have my airline with me anyway, um, is tap into my air compressor. And Bob's your uncle. She's away she goes. I don't know if it'd be good enough to run major like air power tools or anything like that, but pumping your tires up pretty good. The only thing you've got to be cautious of is don't run this for like half an hour at a time. Because I know they burn on about five minutes. Any better between two and three minutes. You don't want to be pumping loads of air into, but that is rated to do well, it'll do 140 psi into that tank. Ideally, it'd be nice to tap into the tank, but that's proper work. I'm not doing that. But for a quick and simple thing, like I say, I don't know why Land Rover don't sell you a setup like this where you can just tap into it. I think it's a great idea. And it works. So I'll do now is put that back in there. 
when it's not in use. So it's still got it. It's still got it. Um, it's safety release valve. Yeah, the, basically when the pressure builds up too big, it opens that valve. So it's still got that. But it's nice and easy for me to tap into it now every time I need it. If I need it again, hopefully not. But if I do and I get stock, I can just tap into it now like that. Right, so that's the end of the video. And then um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And to keep watching for more Range Rover content. Catch us on the next one.